Hello everybody, welcome back to the Gaming Lounge. This is Esfar, your host, and today we are going to go over some replays. I'm currently at 1,719 uh, trophies in Ultimate Champion. Uh, the last time you guys saw me, I was pretty tilted. Um, not going to lie, I was at 1,000 trophies. I actually got down to 300 trophies at one point. Um, that's how bad I was tilted. But luckily I was able to climb back up and get back up to 1700. And I think we got like three more days left in the season. I've been using this Mega Knight Royal Hogs duck. This is the duck I went from 300 trophies in Ultimate Champion back to 1700 with. Um, instead of using Pucker Bird Spam. I still use Pucker Bird Spam. I've been playing it. It just hasn't been that fun in the meta because um, I feel like it's just there's too many decks that it does bad against so I've been using this kind of Mega Knight bridge spam deck and it's been extremely strong right now um, even against Canyon even against um, Bomb Tower uh, it feels like it has good synergy so um, and it's been fun I think it's a fun deck to play um, and that's the thing about this game is if you're not having fun then you should, why play and then so yeah, so I'm happy that I was able to find a duck that I was able, able to enjoy. So this guy was running 2.6 pretty much with, uh, well it's not exactly 2.6 because he has Firecracker instead of Musketeer and he has um, Earthquake instead of Fireball. So it's a, it's a, it's a hog 2.6-ish deck, but it is what it is. Um, Oh, that's kind of cool. If you watch the replay and they get the um, evolution and mix the noise, that's kind of cool. <laughs> I did not realize that. So yeah, so I mean, I think they're doing some good things with the balance changes. They're doing um, evolution nerf, which is nice. They're doing royal giant nerf, which is nice. Um, I know that they're coming out with the knight evolution, which he seems pretty balance compared to the other evolutions honestly um like firecracker was insane bar, bar, you know, barbarians are insane they're not nerfing barbarians so that's that's kind of interesting that barbarians are staying the same so i think we're gonna see barbarians and night meta all next season so which is gonna be i think we're gonna see tons of graveyards with night getting the evolution which Honestly, it's not going to be fun. I hate graveyard decks, and so the fact that the thing is like cyclone decks are still getting buff instead of uh, instead of beatdown decks. Like there's not a single evolution card for beatdown besides barbarians for lava hound, but that's pretty much it. So everything else has been cyclone decks um, with like firecracker and knight and mortar and. RG cycle. So, so that was the first game. Uh, got a three crown against a hog duck. Um, I was pretty excited. And then we're gonna be playing against Night Mortar against uh, Danny. So it's 1,660 trophies. My um, my goal for the season is to get to 2,000 trophies by the end of the season. My personal best was last season at 1,919 trophies. And so this season, I want to really get up to, you know, 2,000. Uh, that was a really bad arrows. I don't. I thought that the the mortar had more life than it did, so that's why I threw arrows. But I also did it because I wanted to DPS the knight a little bit. But I wasted a lot of elixir um, when I didn't need to. But that was just a mistake on my part. And that's the nice thing about like going back and watching replays. Um, I was gonna do live games today on this video, but just been too tired to uh, to do live games. Um, usually, when I do live games, when I'm recording videos, I just play really bad. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, that's why I'm doing replays this this video. But these were good games. I thought that these were good games, uh, good quality wins to to showcase. And so, yeah. I wonder if, um, for evolutions, if they're gonna do. Because I think right now, everything that's getting evolved 
They're just commons, right? I think I think mortals are common. Like RG is a common. One of those skeletons is a common. Firecrackers are common. Knights are common. Barbarians are just commons, I believe. So, I wonder if they're gonna do any evolutions for um, like leg legendary cards. Like, that'd be really cool if Pekka got an evolution. Like, if the evolution Pekka was one cycle, and like the Pekka was like a Valkyrie, it, like it like spun when it when it, it attacked, and if it got like a, a speed buff, a, a speed buff, that'd be kind of cool. Um, that would make Pekka actually kind of broken if it, if they did that. <laughs> so. I'd be happy, uh, but but yeah, this is really good. I really love doing Royal Hogs behind the Mega Knight. Look how look how insane Firecracker is. You get two shots, and the tower is dead. It went from like 2,000 HP to, to zero. So and he, he gave up after that. And uh, honestly, it wasn't even that good of a placement of a Firecracker. I just knew that Firecracker was gonna get two shots, and I knew that. It was on the perfect angle to uh, to hit the mortar. So um, I think I don't know the, the mortar. I think out of all the evolutions, the mortar evolution takes the most skill. Uh, quite honestly, I think that the mortar evolution is actually pretty balanced. Um, if you do a good placement with it, you could get tons of damage. But it's easy. Ca it's easy enough to to be countered so so I like the evolution on that card and this is gonna be the last game this is against a uh, mighty minor drill you know drill decks are really fun to play against uh, I actually do enjoy playing against drill I think uh, I think drill is a pretty balanced card to where uh, you have to be good to use it um, I think like Hog Rider is overpowered. I think Goblin Bearer is a little bit overpowered, but Drill. I feel like Drill is honestly a a pretty. It's a duck that I think takes skill. Um, so it's one of the. Uh, I, I don't. I think Drill is considered a cycle deck. It has like um, cycle cards in it. It has like the two. It looks like goblins, ice spirit. It has a lot of low elixir cards in the deck for you to cycle to drill, and it has to really defense heavy. So the thing about cycle cards in a cycle decks is their defense. If you know how to play defense with them, it's really it's almost impossible to to break if you're playing beatdown decks. So. Um, that's my issue with Psycho cards, especially when they have like Bomb Tower or Canyon or Tesla, because they're able to defend very, very, very well. So, so this game was was against Andre, against Veterans Elite, and I love this. I love just doing Royal Hogs, Firecracker. Like if they don't have an answer for Firecracker, you're gonna get some massive damage. And this is beautiful. I just do Mega Knight on top of his Firecracker. Ah, I love doing that. That was a really good play. <laughs> you know, to do to do to do that takes a lot of skill to to uh, drop a Mega Knight on top of units. So. So him playing Bomb Tower is really good because my Ghost is gonna, gonna get a couple of hits on it to where it's gonna die faster. That was a really bad Iwas. Um, it was just unlucky, honestly, that he played it when he played uh, his drill. I I did. I should have waited, honestly. I didn't really need to make a move. It was just going to be two times an elixir, and I didn't want to waste an elixir. I mean, just look at Firecracker. Look how much damage she was getting done. Um, Like, I'm okay with a Firecracker nerf. I think the Firecracker nerf is going to make her balance, quite honestly. The Firecracker evolution nerf, let's be, let's be uh, specific. Because the Firecracker is not changing, it's just the evolution. So, this was actually a really good play that I'm pushing the left hand tower, because the tower. 
that is strong, I was pushing. I'm not really sure why that was a good idea. <laughs> so, it's so that the firecracker go in the opposite lane. Um, I guess is what I was trying to say. So this is where he messed up. He messed up his timing on the Mighty Miner. And that's going to be game. I'm just going to throw my arrows and that's going to take the tower. So, but yeah, overall, this season has been pretty fun. I've been enjoying the evolutions. Um, I know that level 15 is going to come pretty soon in Path of Legends. Um, I'm happy that they didn't do it right away because that would be kind of crappy. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, I'm happy I was able to climb back up to 1,700. Hopefully I could get to 2,000. That's my goal. I just need to get 300 more trophies. And uh, yeah, I hope I will see you guys in the next video and, and keep on clashing.